We are now one week away from the final of this Deadman tournament. It's been a long but very enjoyable one. We've been maxed and PKing and maxed gear since the end of week one, so the goal is exactly the same. PK as much money as possible in order to get as many people as possible from my team in the best gear possible for the 1v1s. This max set is worth more and more every single day as the final gets closer, and if I die for it now with under a week left, it's going to be extremely hard to get back in time for the finals, but I'm going to do it anyway. This might be the last video before the finals next week unless I manage to find more loot over the next couple days or so. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far and please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't as I'm about to hit 70,000 subscribers. Anyway, let's get into the PKing content. So there were two PKers from a rival team at Black Chins on some of our Chin Hunters and obviously they called for help. One of the PKers managed to get the freeze tally right away but the other one started bolting north which was a mistake and we managed to get on him. As if he's gonna run multi. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Just yeah, okay, he's dead. Okay, three mil loot. Whip Varax the lot. GG, dude. I didn't get everything obviously because the loot was in multi and I didn't want to risk it. Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to our new sponsor for this video. Can you guess it? ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a service that allows you to protect yourself online at all times. I personally use it when connecting to different clans as Teamspeak when playing Deadman mode in order to hide my IP address. I also love using it to help me stay up during my 30 hour grinds to access movies and TV shows that aren't available in my country. Now that I've moved to New Zealand, I usually wouldn't be able to watch bangers like Inception, but with Express, I can change my country to America and boom. That's two and a half hours of a concept I will probably never understand to keep me entertained. Now they are hooking it up for you guys, you guys can find out how to get three months free by clicking the link in the description, or you can go to expressvpn.com slash debitter. You guys can get this on practically any device you have, so I definitely recommend checking them out. And a big thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Hey, all of these keys are off that PK at Chins. His friend did manage to escape, however. 600k key, no cash, like 30k obviously, 40 prayer pots. It's not really a good key off a PK at Mulan, and he killed absolute noobs. Why this guy just ran away from his abyssal demon and let me hit him, I have no idea. He could have just boxed it. But either way, we're on another guy with a whip. 160 in combat this time. He's got no dehyde switch. Once again, didn't. Interesting. 31, he smited here, and I hit a zero. I can't say for certain. Dead. Yep. Oh, wait, he's not dead. What the hell? He should be dead here. 63, that's a nice finishing KO. Let's get all that loot, GG, man. Okay, another whip added to the collection. Oh my goodness. Catch a freeze. Thank you. He's not even in dehydes. Come on. Going for a freeze there. Nice. 25. Another one. 36. The barrages are absolutely going to cook him here. He's got to change that prayer. Which is it, right? Yep. Okay. 10. Nice. He's going to pray melee there. Decent. Claw onto the G-Mall. Oh my god. The judge just hit a 72 claw. And he didn't die. The G-Mall hit nothing, to be fair. 26. Oh my god. The bolts are going in. 31. He's going to get an eat there, probably. Unless he's dead. 14. Jesus, 22. He's got to change those prayers. 25 for the bolt KO. He didn't change his prayers once. Only kept on the prey melee. Probably should have died to the claw mall. That's a whip PK and the rest. Good fight, dude. Okay, that should be a decent amount of loot. Whip, cash, runes. Nice. Two mil loot. 19. Come on, what's he picking up there? Did he drop a bunch of bruises? I'm not hitting anything with these bolts, dude. That defense is too strong. Going for another freeze. Nice. Come on. I need some better hits. He's playing range here. Nice. He smited it again. VLS. Oh, I misclicked. 61 VLS. Going again? 54. Jesus Christ. I just PK'd bank, I'm pretty sure. I can't tell, though. DH legs. Whip. Oh, my God, dude. The VLS just carried 3.5 mil loot. Whip and Darox. He just came back, and he's laughing at the death. Respect. Two keys. The second one was off that guy in Edge who we PK'd like 4 mil off of. 500k key off of him. This is dog shit. This is 130 staminas. After I kill him, he did say that I wasn't letting him buy his staminas, that he asked for some money back. But obviously, I'm not going to give him his money back. 130 staminas. Uh, I'll get on it. It's fine. I caught it. Come on. Big bolt there. 33. Going for another one. 
Uh, he probably knows how to bank, I'm not gonna lie, but... Bro, this world's so laggy. 54. Come on, going for the freeze. 33, VLS awesome. him. 54, come on, one more. Through the prayer. 37, good fight. Oh, that is a big ass kill at Shiloh Village, right next to the bank. That VLS was more than enough to secure the kill. Through the prayer as well, that final spec. A whip, the rest, let's pick it all up. D shoes, 2.6 mil PK whip, D shoes, some cash, very nice. All right, three keys here off that PK at Shiloh, who we did a lot of damage to, to say the least. 10 mil key, what? He had a Vesta Spear in his key, that's nice. It's worth around like maybe 4 mil for Corp, some cash, that's nice. And 25k, 7k. This guy's got a fire cape, a whip, etc. He's doing, um, Abbey Demons. Let's hop on him. Nice. If you lost him off the bat, oh, 14 right there. He could have died already. Going for the freeze. Nice. Into the VLS. 52. I'm just going to go in again. Grats on the level. 23. Okay, we just dumped all our VLS specs and then he changes his prayer. Very interesting tactic to say the least. Nice. 33, he's gonna pray melee here. He should be dead. 16 for the KO, we did a bunch of damage. He drops the good fight as well, that's respectful. A whip and a bunch of other stuff, let's pick it all up. All right, another whip added to the collection, 1.6 mil loot, we'll check that key in a bit. What is this that just teleported in? Come on. It's going for another freeze. 22, nice. VLSM, 26. Dead? 23? Okay, just one more spec. One more spec through the prayer. 28 for the KO. He just drops the Oh Lord when I got on him. I guess he was going for the freeze there instead of eating, which just wasn't the play. Uh, Varex plate skirt and a whole bunch of other loot. That's another PK or down. Good fight, man. 1.5 mil loot. Very nice. We'll check what his key is in a bit. Okay, 187k DDS, some stuff, and 300k off the second PK or Kabo, which is nice. Nothing really else too much, but the loot was nice. Bro, what is this? Let's catch a freeze. VLS, 60. One more, please, for the KO. Damn it, freeze. VLS, 31. Going for the bolts. 36. 15. He should be dead if I just, he's not changing his prayers at all. I'm just gonna barrage him out probably. He's pulling out the DDS. I think this is a kill. He didn't change his prayers at all, and the barrages are just too strong. I have a VLS spec here as well, but he's dead to the 39 barrage. Good fight, man. Let's pick that all up. That guy kept claiming he was in my team, but he just wasn't. Two mil kill. Very nice. Okay, two keys off this PK are like between Camelot and Relica. Let's have a look. Um, Bruise restores some cash. Nothing too big, but the kill was nice again, and it's another PK or down. VLS him. Come on. VLS him again. 58. Come on, 30, let's just go in again through the prayer, fuck it. This was another member from a rival team who was risking an AGS, and at this stage of the game, it's basically just team fights. you have to take them out any way you can. I went around the corner on this guy because I knew he'd know how to freeze and telly, so we had to kill him as fast as possible, and I let my friend put two VLS specs into it. AGS loot, once again, let's pick up the rest of that good fight, that should be a decent amount. AGS, Dagenhai and shit. Three keys here off the guy we just PK'd for an AGS. Whip. 100k cash, bruise, restores, that's actually a really good key. The seeds obviously skew it, but a whip and cash and bruise is nice. And he killed absolute noobs. Come on. Please be AFK. Please be AFK. Dude, he's AFK and I can't catch this freeze. Oh my god. VLS, 15. He's gonna come back now and I'm gonna be so angry. Nope, he's dead. He's out the game. Good fight. That's a whip and whatever else there is. You don't go AFK on dead man mode, fella. Let's pick it all up. 1.4 mil. So this was another fed max PK who I knew what I was doing, so the fight kind of wasn't worth taking, but he tallied into edge and started attacking me, so obviously I'm not going to back down, I'm going to see what I can do.
I'd say he was about 55 to 60 HP and I can claw a 72 in my gear and Gmall over a 25 through prayer. He only had the Armadal Chestplate and the Varax Skirt as his tank as well. RNG just didn't pull through for us but that could have been a very very big kill. Oh he's in Mystics bro! Going for a freeze. Feel awesome? Nice. 27 there. Feel awesome again? Nice. I found this Mystic PKR at Catherby and obviously my greedy self is going to try and get that kill. In hindsight, maybe if I wasn't so greedy, I would have realized this was a bait earlier due to the fact he didn't try to escape right away and he was constantly doing damage back to me. But as he starts lowering my food, a max team logs in on me. So despite the team logging in, I decided to carry on trying to kill the Mystic bait for a bit even though I could have just got the freeze telly right there and then. Not sure what's wrong with me, I just wanted to try and get that clipper. I ended up splashing as he ran towards multi and he froze me and went around a tree, which means I'm about to have to tank if I want to keep this max set. I had one opportunity earlier to go around the tree and log out but I mistimed it by around 3 seconds and at that point it wasn't worth to go for it again. I couldn't go for the freeze telly because the first guy on me actually had a mage cape switch and managed to TB me so they did play that really well in that aspect. Now at this point I started realizing I have seeds on me, they're taking me west. Right now my escape is get is to get to the charter boats and charter to Port Kazard. I can get to the bank and get food. At this point I realized I have seeds, they take me west, let's start spam clicking that shit. First time I've come close to dying this tournament and fair enough, it was a nice bait, I got greedy on the mystic bait and could have escaped much earlier. I was getting a little unlucky on the refreezes but as I ran towards the charter I didn't get frozen on my double armor duel for a little bit so that definitely did help out there. If I didn't have the seeds it probably would have been a different story but as soon as I realized it really made a lot of the difference and we managed to escape on 73 HP the Bodhi number with one brew dose left, very nice escape and a very nice hit to be fair. A clutch escape there, deaths are still at zero, kills are at 313. If you did enjoy that escape, please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you are new. Guys, that's it for this Deadman tournament. I'm not sure if there's going to be another PKing video out, but there will definitely be a final video out no matter what. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for all the support this tournament. And it's a good thing we didn't die there. I'm hoping we can do well in the 1v1s if we make it there.